Hey guys, I'm back. This video will be a first impressions over this palette right here. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. It just launched last week. Usually I try to get most of my makeup from Ulta or Sephora so I can get the points, but this palette only launched on Too Faced website. I had to have my hands on it right away because look at it. It really looks like, mine's kind of dirty. Let me wipe this off. It actually looks like a chocolate bar dipped in gold. I freaking love this packaging. It is everything. I mean, not only look at this, but look at the mirror that they that it comes with. This is Oh, and the mirror is kind of dirty. Excuse my fingerprints. Unlike all the other chocolate bar palettes, you get a full mirror. And I forgot to mention the mirror extends all the way back, unlike the other chocolate bar palettes. Right here, it just looks so expensive and heavy. Like, I mean, it's not that heavy, but it's heavier than the other palette. It just feels expensive. But this palette is the same price as the other chocolate bar palettes, $49, which I am shocked. I just really thought this would be more expensive just because of how it feels, how it looks, and especially these shades. So you get 16 shades. Most of them are glitter shimmer shades. You only get four mattes, which, which are these four. Not only is it glitter, it's like all warm tones for deeper skin complexion. I just did a review on the white chocolate bar palette. Um, if you haven't seen that, I will link it below and also put it up here. But I just did a review on this palette and you see how all these colors are pastel and really ashy but I still wanted that palette and I got it. For me, more details, just go watch that video. And this palette just launched a few weeks ago. So these are the new two releases. So if you compare these palettes, you will see the difference between these palettes. This is more of an ashy cool tone palette while this is like warm tones. My favorite shade out this palette is this gold shade right here which I did use on my lid and I'm gonna get to the tutorial. Just to let you know, you do not need to spray your brush with Fix Plus. These colors go on amazing without Fix Plus. I did not use Fix Plus for this look today. So again, in this palette, like in the white chocolate uh, palette, they put a green in there, but this green is glittered. I feel I can create a look better with this green than I can do in this palette right here. This is like a pastel ashy green, while this is a deeper warm tone green. Also like in this palette, this palette also is trimmed in gold, which is unlike the other Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, palette for holiday looks. And I also love the names of these colors, like uh, So Bougie, Classy, Sassy, Famous, Rich Girl, Dip, dripping and it's dripping diamonds, new money, living lavish, gold dip, old money, chocolate gold, money bags, which is such a perfect name for that color, love and cocoa, and holla for your dollar. Like, I love this palette. So I'm gonna stop talking so I can get to the tutorial so you can see how I created this look that I have today. So yeah. Starting off using So Bougie as the transition shade. And now we're gonna add Cocoa Truffle in the crease. I'm going to carve out my eyelid using NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk. So now I'm going into this gorgeous purple color called New Money, and I'm going to create a halo. I never say this, but y'all follow my Facebook page and also my Instagram. The link is always in the description box. We need to connect outside of YouTube. I need to know my followers. So now I'm going into the pretty goat color 
chocolate gold and I'm going to put that in that spot that I hollowed out. Now I'm going back into Cocoa Truffle and I'm going to smooth out all those harsh lines. I want this to blend into my transition shade. I'm also going to put my lid colors below my waterline. I put my eyeliner and eyelashes on off camera. For blush, I'm using Anastasia's Beverly Hills. <laughs> And I'm also using Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dip Glow Kit for my highlighter today. I'm using Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the color Black Mill to line my lip. <laughs> And for lipstick today, I'm using Max Color Rebel. And that is it for this look. Thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and leave me a comment. Bye guys.